Welcome to 2 Minutes Bio. In this video, nitrogen isotope 15 will be explained. In 1957, American biologist Matthew Meselson and Franklin Stahl conducted an experiment to prove the semi-conservative replication pattern of DNA double helix, which was originally proposed by Watson and Crick by applying two new techniques, the nitrogen isotope 15 and cesium chloride centrifugation method. In this video, the nitrogen isotope 15 will be explained. In order to understand what nitrogen 15 is, you need fundamental knowledge about atoms and elements. Atoms are the smallest unit of matter that doesn't lose its chemical properties, and they are approximately 100 types on the planet. Elements are the types of atom, by the way, so their meaning is pretty close, but not precisely the same. Although there are over 100 types of elements, all of them have common structures. They are all composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons. But each element differs in the number of these three particles, so they become a distinct element with another. For example, the simplest element in the universe is hydrogen, and that is composed of one proton and one electron. Ordinary oxygen atom is composed of eight protons, eight neutrons, and eight electrons. However, despite sharing the same element symbol, there are some variations that differ in the number of neutrons, like carbon-12 and carbon-13. They are called isotopes. Isotopes share similar chemical properties, but their physical properties such as boiling point and melting point are different. The research on isotopes greatly advanced in the 1930s from the discovery of heavy hydrogen deuterium by American chemist Harold Urey, who was awarded the Nobel Prize afterwards. Nitrogen-15 has one additional neutron compared to nitrogen-14, so the mass of nitrogen-15 is slightly heavier than nitrogen-14. Since they are the same atom, they can equally be used in the biological structure, such as DNA. But at the same time, as they are distinguishable by their mass, it is possible to detect them separately. Meselson and Stahl utilize this mass difference in order to prove semi-conservative replication. 